Upon delivery into the workshop, you first want to inspect the cut and make sure there's no physical damage caused by transit, and it'd be a good idea to pay attention to the tilt and the shock device on the side of the box. Once you're happy, everything seems in order. It's just a matter of unpacking it. Straps off the side. And best to actually get some assistance to lift the box vertically off the machine, just to not let it rub on the side of the machine. Once removed, we can actually take the plastic cover off the top. Before tilting the screen, just undo the thumb dial, lift the screen into place, build it up nice and tight. It's a matter of then setting it up ready for operation. So <clears throat> there's two accessory kits, one in the front, one in the rear of the machine. Can remove the accessory boxes. and then go through the procedure of unboxing and checking that everything's there as per the scope of delivery. The first box we removed from the front of the machine actually houses the hoses in the instruction manual. So remove the hoses, we can gain access to the instruction manual because it's imperative we actually follow through on the actual steps for initialising the machine. The box we removed from the rear of the machine uh, houses the rest of the devices required for its operation. So we have the PAG oil bottle, power bottle for our hybrid oil, UV dye and waste oil bottle. You'll also find the power supply lead to run the machine, an adapter required for filling the internal tank, a calibration check weight and of course eyewear and safety gloves in addition to a cover to keep the machine dust free.